Hey there, Louis here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create an aging report in ServiceNow. Let's go ahead and let's get to work. All right, now the first thing you'll need to do is click on the All button at the top of your screen. In the Filter Navigator, you wanna search for Reports. Then you wanna scroll down and click on Create New under the Reports menu group. Next, you wanna give this report a name. Next, you wanna select your source type. Now we want to search for records that are stored in a table, so I will just leave this as is. And then you wanna go ahead and select your table. Now to do that, you wanna click into the table field and you wanna search for the name of the table that you are going to be querying. In this example, we're going to build an incident aging report, and so I am going to select the incident table. Then you wanna click the next button, and this is going to bring you into the type menu, and this is where you can come to select the different report styles that are available in ServiceNow. Now, I'll go ahead and select a simple bar chart, but again, you can select any chart that is conducive to your reporting requirements. Now, I'll go ahead and press Next, and this is where we're going to actually create the grouping that will allow us to see the incidents by age. Now, what I'm going to do is click on the group by field. And in order to group incidents by their age, what you want to do is you want to group them by either the created field. So you can see here, I just typed create and I can see the created field. Now I'll go ahead and select this and I will click on the run button just to update the report in the previewer. And you can see here that by default, what it's done is it has grouped the incidents by these default time periods. So two days, two to five days, five to seven days, et cetera. Now, if you wanna learn how to embed this aging report on a dashboard in ServiceNow, or if you wanna learn how to schedule this aging report to be sent automatically, I do have tutorials showing you how to do both of those things. I've included links to those videos in the description of this video below, or you can just go ahead and click that card in the upper right hand corner and watch those videos once you finish watching this one. Now, I don't have control over the created date for these records in my developer instance. So what I'm going to do is change the group by field to the opened field. And you can see here, I just typed the word open and I'll select open. And when I click on run, you can see here again, it is going to group these incidents by the opened date and it will automatically define these time periods again. Now, the next thing that we need to do to make this a true aging report is we do need to apply some filters to it as right now, this is just grouping all incidents by their open date. Now to apply a filter, you want to place your cursor on the condition builder or the filter icon, and that's going to allow you to now specify some filters right here above the report previewer. Now what I'm going to do is I will search for the state field and I will select state and I am going to change the operator to is not one of, and I am going to select closed, canceled, and resolve. Now I'll go ahead and click run and you can see here that the report updated. Now you can also come into the style menu group here and you can actually change some of the style settings for this report. So you can amend the chart color, you can display data labels and you can choose where those labels should be displayed. You can change the size of the chart, you can change the decimal precision, etc. Now I'll just go ahead and run this again and you can see now the data labels are displaying just above the bars. And once you're ready to publish this report, you wanna go ahead and click save. And you can see here that this report has been saved. Now, once you've saved this report, then you can share it, you can add it to a dashboard, you can schedule it, etc. Now, if you want to use this report to quickly drill down into the list of incidents by their age, all you need to do is actually place your cursor over the respective bar for which you would like to see those incidents. Now, if I wanna see all of the incidents that are greater than two months, I can just click on this bar 
and it is automatically going to bring me into a list of the incidents where the created date is greater than or equal to two months. Now, once you're ready to publish this report, you do have a few different options as to how you can do that. Now, to view your options for sharing, you wanna go ahead and click on the sharing button, and you'll notice here that you have the option to share this report. So I'll go ahead and click on the share button. Now you can see here that by default, this report is visible to me. If you wanna make this a public report, you can select everyone. And then from here, if you wanted to specify a specific role, you could go ahead and search for that role. Or if you wanted to grant certain groups or users access to this report, you can select groups and users, and then you can either toggle between groups or users, and then just search for the group or user and select it and press OK. Now I'll make this report available to everyone and I'll click OK. Now you also have the option to schedule this report. Now to do that, you can click on the schedule button, and this is going to open the schedule and email containing this report where you can just go ahead and fill this out. Now I do have another tutorial that demonstrates how to schedule reports, how to update those reports once they've been scheduled and how to cancel them. I've included a link to that video in the description below, or you can just go ahead and click that card in the upper right hand corner of your screen. And of course your last option on the sharing menu is to export this to PDF. So you can go ahead and click that button and you'll see here the export to PDF menu and this will allow you to actually export this so that you can incorporate it in some other report or presentation. So that's it. In this tutorial, I demonstrated how you can create an aging report in ServiceNow. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acabellos. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.